camera and cash. A popular reality show highlighted San Antonio tonight, attracting the eyes of the nation and the cash of the production crew. That's just one reason why the city and the state have a package of incentives designed to bring more of Hollywood here. Eyewitness News reporter Andrea Martinez has more on how the numbers could attract more big budget movies and shows to the Alamo City. Jeff and Sarah, if you had been on Market Street a few months ago, it would have been closed off. The area was transformed into a giant obstacle course where contestants put their fitness levels to the test on American Ninja Warrior. And tonight, nearly 7 million people nationwide saw our city on their TV screens, something city leaders say is a big win economically. A few months ago, downtown San Antonio was transformed into a mecca for a reality TV show, American Ninja Warrior. The show puts competitors to the test as they attempt to complete a series of difficult obstacle courses. Yes, so we shut down Market Street in front of the Bear County Courthouse for 10 days, and the production hired 38 local crew members. Crystal Jones is the film commissioner for the city of San Antonio. She and her team estimate the entire production brought nearly $3.5 million to the city in just 10 days. That's all the restaurant visits they made, all of the times that they went. Uh, and visited our wonderful attractions in town. Two San Antonio based episodes will air each two hours long. So you'll see the river barges, you'll see the river walk, Pearl Brewery. You'll just see wonderful shots of our city. But American Ninja Warrior didn't need a selling point to come here. You see, in October, the city began offering a 7.5% rebate incentive for film crews. American Ninja Warrior didn't qualify at the time because they were a reality show, but that didn't stop them. The city has since done away with the reality show restriction. So along with statewide film rebates, major productions can have up to 30% of their cost offset. That's the strongest incentive in the state and on par with cities in Georgia, New Mexico, and Louisiana. Productions have to meet certain requirements, like meet a $100,000 spending minimum. At least 70% of paid crew and cast must be Texas residents, and hotel accommodations must be within city limits. I can see a natural gravitation to San Antonio because people are looking for new experiences and new backgrounds for film projects. Now, Crystal says a another San Antonio based episode of the show is set to air later this summer. She also said there are many future projects in the works right now, so we'll just have to look out for those. Jeff and Sarah. It's great to hear that. Thank you. Well, summer plans.